The political ballots are hitting the mailboxes as soon as tomorrow. And if you live in Salt Lake County, it's actually your ballot's going to be quite long. New specialist Lindsay Ertz joins us now with what you need to know before you vote. Lindsay, there's been a lot of issues and there's a lot of options on this ballot. Yeah, so many, Dini. In fact, take a look at these ballots. They're front and back and front and back. Two pieces of paper are going to come in your ballot tomorrow if you live in Salt Lake County. And it's the only county in the state that has a two card ballot. And the county clerk in Salt Lake County says it's really important you return both pages. This is the first time in known history that Salt Lake County has had a two card ballot. A monster ballot is headed your way if you live in Salt Lake County. We're talking front and back, 18 inch ballot, two sided two cards. Here's what it'll look like. The first page front and back with all the candidates that'll include president, governor, all the other local races in your area. That page will also include the judicial retention elections. And that takes up quite a bit of space. Then another page front and back with the countywide public safety bond and the issue of whether you want to reauthorize the zoo arts and parks tax. Plus for people who live in the Salt Lake school boundaries, Cottonwood Heights or Murray, you'll also have your own bonds on the back side of that page those constitutional amendments where only B and C will be counted I'm really gonna encourage even if you don't want to vote that second page to please turn them both in it helps me make sure that I'm reconciling things properly so what if you forget and only turn in that first page your vote will still count however you're gonna have a full second card of undervoted uh, questions because you didn't turn it in. Yeah. Uh, that first card will be the only one that I count for you. And Chapman says you won't be able to add it back in. There's no mulligans, no do-overs. So take your time. If you want to vote both, and even if you don't want to vote both, please make sure you put both cards back in that return envelope so that I can process it. Now, again, just pointing out, this is just for Salt Lake County that has these two cards. Everywhere else in this state will probably have a front and back side of their ballot. So make sure if you live outside of Salt Lake County, you pay attention to that as well. Also want to point out that the state has a robust way to track your ballot. It's called Ballot Tracks with an X. We've linked you at KSLTV.com, but you can get your you can get notified when your ballot is received, when it's sent to you, and then when it's tabulated as well. Again, that all up for you at KSLTV.com. Dini, I'll send it back to you. Lindsay, super helpful. You know, you don't want procedural issues to discount or upset your vote. So thank you for that information ahead of the election.